Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a general love and romance horoscope for the month of May 2020 for those of you under the sign of Capricorn. Since this is general, this is not going to resonate with every Capricorn out there. So uh, please keep that in mind. If you find yourself with more questions and answers, it's probably not your reading. Okay, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below as well as all the decks I'm using here. Most of the items you see, including the jellyfish lamp, jellyfish are not real. Uh, my Instagram uh, information if you want to support the channel all that information is going to be below in the description when you hear me refer to divine masculine or divine feminine or he or she they i'm just referring to energies whoops there's a card in here that shouldn't be in here <laughs> i just wanted to be see ace of swords this might be uh, for you guys <laughs> um that's about truth and clarity um so i forgot what i was saying but anyways <laughs> When I refer to um, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be Divine Masculine, be a female or vice versa. Just take it how it resonates. Like I said, if it resonates um, at all for your situation. Okay. So, oh my God, these cards are so active today. All right. Let me put these back in. That could be shown for someone else as well, family. So you're, you're, I can tell already that you're, oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. Mirroring. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is kind of funny. This is different Capricorn. I've never had this happen with the horoscopes. So I just need to shuffle these around again and hopefully they don't fly out. Uh, Spirit, can you please give me a little bit of time before you plop these cards out this time? <laughs> All right. So first I'm going to go ahead and get some um, general energy surrounding um, you in love and romance, Capricorn, uh, for this period of May 2020. However, my all my readings are meant to be timeless. So if you happen to catch this reading outside of that timeline and it resonates with your situation, that means that it was meant for you to hear, okay, at that time. All right. So I do shuffle all the cards prior to coming on, but I do like for you guys to see how spirit uh, works their magic, okay. So... I'm just going to shuffle these around a little bit more and then I'll get started. Also, um, this is my deck that I created, Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages. I'll also be using these. These are available for pre-order um, right now. Those of you that already ordered, the shipment is, um, I'm just waiting for the shipment to come in um, so that they can go out next week. So if you're in the United States, you can order from my shop or you can, um, on my site, or you can go to my Etsy shop. But if you're international, um, please use my email below to contact me and I'll send you a link. All right. Let's go ahead and get started, Capricorn. So this is a romance angels. These are the energy surrounding you when it comes to love and romance with your soulmate or your twin flame or if someone new could be coming in. Um, we'll just see what spirit uh, has to say. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So you guys could be going through some challenging times when it comes to love and romance. Um, so you could be needing to lean on your friends or your friends are helping you or you could be asking your friends to help you uh, when it comes to love and romance for you to uh, make a step towards um, someone you might be interested in. OK, this also could be you getting help from your angels and spirit guides uh, as well. So this is going to be the energy that you're in, uh, Capricorn. Oops. So we have um, dedicated effort. So this is the Eight of Pentacles. This is working hard, you know, staying up late at night. Um, it, it has like an apprentice kind of energy, but it's about really putting the effort to try to make something pay off. So you're in the energy of working really hard on something, putting the effort in, into something. Now, this could have to do with uh, money because pinnacles are about the 3D realm and it could be about financial. But as you see in this dedicated effort, this uh, masculine energy is painting something. He's creating something. And then there's like... Uh, a couple there in the background so he could be working on that so let me go ahead and get the energy of uh, your person uh, Capricorn it 
and we have joy and stability this is the four of wands okay so this could be your twin flame so this is um the 1111 card and in, in the um, traditional tarot deck so this is joy and stability this is about foundations union um th things of that nature so your person is in this and so you have eight here which is infinity symbol um as well so you could be dealing with a possible twin flame connection but we'll see so let's go ahead and see what the current situation is between you and your person capricorn We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So either you are having discussions or you are wanting to have discussions. This is the Mystic Moon um, Oracles. So we have Mew. Okay, so the person that you are, are thinking about or possibly wanting to get help with and uh, putting in some kind of work is you are possibly not in any type of communication at all with this person because we have mute and we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So let's see what else is going on in your situation. This is the Everyday Witch Tarot. And there you are, the devil Capricorn energy here. So this could also have to do with, um, you know, pride, control, addictions temptations uh anything of that uh you know even in toxic energy so there is no con conversation with the person that you are uh into or focused on or 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 needing help for so you're possibly thinking about getting help towards working on this uh relationship this is the uh, island time wellness cards uh, love oracles i'm going to get a um, clarifier for this situation between you and your person capricorn yep it's your twin flame yin yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other all right so you're possibly um, thinking about getting help in this situation because there's no communication everything is blocked could be due to like i said pride and ego issues or, you know, anything of that, uh, addictions, uh, behaviors, uh, but there's a reason why there's a block. So let's go ahead and see, um, let me, what do I want? Okay, so um, who or what is coming towards you, Capricorn, in May 2020? And we have the judgment card, okay? So this could have to do with, um, this is about karmic um, review, you know, clearing out past things. This could be about reconciliation as well. So we'll see why that is there. I will, um, I'm going to clarify that. These are the Mystic Moon Oracle. So why is the judgment here for what is coming in for Capricorn, May 2020? winter okay so winter is um something that is either frozen or on hold or this could be something that happened uh in the winter time uh, something that was been on hold since the winter time uh, maybe clearing out this energy or there is uh, the energy of it still being on hold okay so winter season in the united states would be like um the uh, December, January, uh, February um, time. I think <laughs> it's late at night. I'm doing these things. Um, I think it's like the end of November into December or something like that. Anyway, this is either has to do with the winter season or something being on hold or there's going to be um, some energy that changes when it comes to this coldness. Uh, this could be judgment could be here to um you know, uh, clear out the coldness between you because there is a let your friends help you. You could be thinking about this. So this could be your energy, you know, calling judgment on this hold and this uh, frozen energy. So we'll see why all this is here. All right. So how does your person currently see you, Capricorn? The lovers, 
They see you as the lovers. This is Gemini energy. Could be dealing with Gemini, but doesn't uh, mean so. Um, this is somebody that is very passionate, loving uh, with that twin flame energy. I'm suspecting that they see you as their twin flame, that ultimate one, the one. Tell me more about the lovers of how Capricorn's person sees them. Surrender. Yeah, they've already surrendered to this connection. They already know. Um, your person knows what you are, who you are to them. So what do they want from you, Capricorn? King of Swords. So the King of Swords is the leader of communication, all things mental, with his sword pointing there. They're wanting like communication, some kind of plan, some type of information. Um, it's this, he's uh, King of Swords is strategic. Okay, you could be dealing with air energy. Again, you have that Gemini. So uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Let's see why the King of Swords is here for what they want from you. Why is the King of Swords here for what Capricorn's person wants from them? Soulmate. Okay, so for some of you, there's not everybody. When you have the when I get the twin flame and the soulmate card, there's a possible another person is involved here. And they could be um, your person could be wanting you to cut out this uh soulmate connection that you might have, possibly even a karmic uh so me um with the judgment here and the devil energy as well um this also definitely there's a twin flame connection here but you could be dealing with a soulmate um connection so for some of you that it, it isn't another person they're wanting you to clearly communicate um that you know what this connection is between the two of you with him down here on his on uh, his knees looking at this feminine uh energy okay so that that's what i'm getting here all right so what is the outcome or action your person is going to take towards you capricorn uh during this period of may 2020 and we have the queen of wands so the Queen of Wands is very passionate, um, energy, um, honest, warm, very creative. Um, you know, a very creative person. This could be somebody that's in the arts, um, in music, uh, dance, or anything like that. But this is also a sexual energy. So your person is going to, um, let me see if they're going to take action towards, this is um, fire energy. So Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. What action is Capricorn's person going to take towards them during May 2020? Patience. They're just going to be patient. They take action towards patience, which is like that temperance energy, balance action, balance emotion. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom of these cards. For the bottom overall energy, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, right under there, I see his wedding here. So some of you, this um, involves a wedding, but there's um, divine timing involved in this connection where you're getting help for this. I Maybe mean, you're getting help to try to leave one situation, go to another. Um, and then we have here, rebuild. This is the tower's energy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio um, as well, but the tower is destruction, okay, which there's a focus over this heart. So with this rebuild, I'm feeling this is um, a positive thing, like uh, rebuilding in the heart space, like you're wanting to mend um, this connection because you know that it's worth waiting for. Again, these energies can be flipped. This could be your person's energy, um, how I've presented here. So we have this Eight of Swords. So definitely someone is feeling trapped mentally in their own mental prison, feeling bound, tied. This, for some of you, this has to do with the soulmate here. And they're wanting to um, get out of this. It could also be feeling trapped because of the quarantine for uh, some of you that are not in a third party situation. So on the bottom here, we have Union. Um, this card, it doesn't normally look like this, but I had to uh, fix it because I, I um, 
lost the other one. So um, this, again, this is about union. This is about foundations. Um, this could also be you feeling trapped in your current uh, home or foundation. And you're wanting, um, you know, to get out of this situation. Um, you're wanting to, um, some of you could be wanting to rebuild a union as well. So, or a foundation, but with this worth waiting for divine timing, it's like you're waiting for something uh, to take place. Okay. And then um, I'm going to get three messages too for you guys. So we have here paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So definitely some of you guys are wanting to get help for the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and get three messages from my twin flame messages. And that's going to be your reading Capricorn. This is going to be messages from your person. I just can't stop loving you. They, they know it, which they've already surrendered to this connection, as you see. Twin Flames. Oh, my God. Twin Flames has come out here twice. You have the lover's card. You have the union card. You have the love and stability, the union. This is definitely a divine soulmate connection, a very high connection i mean this is definitely so if you you guys are um this in this energy um this king of swords and this uh queen of wands this definitely could be uh, your reading you see even on the bottom of this deck this mirroring and remember that flipped out earlier so that's that twin flame um energy wow okay so let me get one more I'm saying good things about you to my friends. So your person is thinking about you and they're saying a lot of good things about your friend, about um, their friends to you, about you. Sorry. Look at that. Let your friends help. So this could be you, Capricorn, is saying good things about this person since things are on hold between you. It could be reversed, but you are definitely... Uh, there's a divine soulmate a connection that you you know that it's worth waiting for. For some reason, there's a hold up. Okay? All right. So in the bottom, I have here, you're consuming my thoughts. That could be that where the devil card is here. That, you know, uh, obsessed type of behavior where you just can't stop thinking about a person. So that's the bottom card for this one. All right, Capricorn. So that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated with your situation. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in booking one of those with me or ordering my new deck, that information is going to be below in the description with everything else. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, Capricorn, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.